Hello and welcome to another episode of Develop with WP. My name is Bobby Bryant and today we're really going to get started on our job listings plugin that this whole series is built around. Um, as I was planning out this series, one of the things that I wanted to try and do was, try, was to incorporate as many different WordPress development um, topics as I could. Um, so uh, in this video we're going to start talking about something called custom post types. Um, it's just one of the many things that we are going to cover when we build this plugin. All right, so um, before we get started, let's let's talk a little bit about custom post types. So 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 far in this tutorial series, if you were watching the uh, WordPress hooks uh, series, we used custom post types a little bit. We really didn't talk about them. Uh, so now I want to kind of just give a quick overview about custom post types before we start coding them. So before you build a custom post type, it's probably best to figure out what they are. So uh, WordPress by default comes with um, five post types, which are posts, pages, media, revisions, and nav menus. And if we look this up in the codex, it actually tells us Post types. So by default, there are, sorry, I said media, but I meant to say attachments. So there's five post, post types by default. Uh, post, pages, attachments, revisions, and nav, navigation menu. Um, and, and I think, you know, for a lot of users, we're, we, we, we think of the first two as posts and pages. But really in WordPress, you know, there are other, there are other things that it saves. Uh, one of the things I want to do is show you something we're going to go to php my admin php my admin is uh, is a way to look at your database all right so we're looking at my sandbox sites database and if we go to post meta we can see a lot of the data that's being saved with our posts So if we go to WP Post, though, we can actually see the different post types. Uh, got along a little, got a little ahead of myself with the post meta. We'll get to that. Um, and as you can see, uh, it has a lot of that data that's associated with a post. You know, whether it's published, whether it's a draft, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. And if we keep scrolling over. Um, We'll get to something called post type, um, and I've been messing around with this state, this um, this test site, and I've been activating and, and deactivating various post types with plugins with post types, and I haven't done a really good job of cleaning out my database. But it's actually going to serve me well here. You'll see right here we have a post type of post, we have one of page, we have a post type for job, which is actually what we're going to be building. Um, we have a revisions post. And then we have a nav menu item post. So this is just showing that there is a nav menu that's been saved and it's kept in here as a post as a post type. Uh, so I just wanted to show you here in PHP Miami and actually look at the database and see how WordPress um, utilizes these post types. All right, so there are five by default. But um, a lot of times you're going to find scenarios like our scenario where um, you really could use what's called a custom post type. You know, what you're trying to build doesn't really fit a post or a page's um, categorization, uh, and so you want to create something different. For our for our plugin, we're going to be creating a job listings for all the jobs available at a at a site or at a company. So you have a company website and you want to display uh, job openings. Uh, now you could use posts and create a bunch of job opening posts and then you could use a page to like uh, to display those posts and like a table and manually build a table you could do a lot of crazy stuff to like make posts and pages work for this scenario but you'd have to have you'd actually have to know a lot about wordpress not a lot but you'd have to know more than the average user about wordpress to make all that happen you'd have to know a little bit of html uh, to make that happen and uh, as WordPress developers, that's not what we want to do when we're building sites for other people. 
Um, we want to build a site that's used, that's super user friendly and very easy for them to use. And that's generally where custom post types come in. Custom post types are going to allow us to create that unique user experience uh, for our end users to make adding, in this case, job listings a whole lot easier. All right, so let's let's get started with some code. Um, look, we're starting from the very, very, very beginning here. If you look in, if you look at my terminal here, I'm in the WP contents uh, for my site. We've done some of this before, but I'm going to CD into plugins, and I'm going to make a new folder, a new directory for our new um, plugin, and we're going to call this folder. Uh, normally, you call make dir. Uh, I'm, I'm using a special command that I've made called make CD, but you do make dir and you give it your name. All right, so now I'm in this job listings folder, WP job listing, and I'm going to create my first file. And I'm going to open that file in my text editor. Okay, so just like in our basic plugin series and our short codes uh, series, we're going to create some comments at the top of this for our plugin. Uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to paste this in ahead of time. So it's called the plugin name is going to be called, called WP Job Listing. I have my URI, my author. We're setting it to version 0.0.1 .0 because we're just getting started on this. And I've got a basic description that tells you what this plugin does. If I save this and I go to my sandbox, and I refresh this uh, plugins page, you'll see that my WP job listing plugin exists. All right. Now, as I've shown you, shown you before, we could activate it at this point. And it wouldn't it wouldn't cause any problems, but uh, we're just going to hold off on activating it until we until we actually put some code in here. All right. So the first thing that I want to put in here, and I don't know if I've covered this, I should have. Um, is this little this, this little beginning part. So because our files are just on the server, in theory, they could just be accessed directly. Meaning, and, and if they were being accessed directly, that would mean that someone's accessing them for the wrong reasons. It's not a good thing. So we're just saying, hey, if, if you're, we're gonna put a call in here that's pretty much stating more or less that if this file is being accessed directly, to just exit. So, and what that will do is it will not allow anybody other than WordPress to use our file. All right, so that's just a little thing that goes this would be part of like your boilerplate for if you had a boilerplate plugin, um, that would just be something that's always at the beginning of every um, every plugin. It's just a safety, you know, fail safe type thing. All right, so we're going to create a custom post type. If we go look at the WordPress codex for post type, um, the way you make one is with a call called a function called register post type. Uh, and right here in the codex, we see um, see it laid out here. And essentially, all you have to do is give it a post, give it an ID name, so a computer readable name for to reference this post post type, and then some arguments. So we're going to create if this first time. We're going to create a very simple post type. We're going to follow pretty much going to follow this to a T. So first thing we have to do is to find a function, prefix it, this is going to be done using an add action, and the action hook is going to be on init, 
so right away and then we're going to call our function okay so we said before this function is going to take we're going to call something called register register post type and it's going to take a name for our post type we're just going to call it job and it's going to take args some arguments so and those args that's just a variable variable that we're going to define and we're going to define it right here so we're going to say args dollar sign args would be nice um, equals array it's going to be an array of an array of a whole bunch of different arguments and we're only going to set one right now we're going to say um, public excuse me I really need to watch what I'm doing here because this is not going to work um, public is going to be equal to true and I'm not going to cover that right now we're going to it's going to be here here soon we're going to do a really in-depth overview of this then I'm going to set a label so that this is pretty much just the display name job listing is the label um, and we're going to save this all right now what we're going to do is go to our plugin we're going to activate it I got a space here let's see if that's what it was all right so we've got it activated right here and if you look there's a job listings uh, option here as a top level menu item and we can go in here and we can look at all the job listings and there actually are a whole bunch because like I said we've been doing I've had this one built before what I'm going to do is delete all of these it says so what we see here is it says job listing uh, five posts moved to the trash no posts found uh, if we go to add new it says add new post uh, and it looks just like any other post so while we've created a custom post type it really is lacking a lot because if we didn't know any better other than this label that I've applied here it looks like a post type it acts like a, po a regular post um, there's really nothing different about it so its uh, usefulness level is very still very very low all right but this is just a very basic post type um, so that's all I'm going to cover in this video. I think we've taken enough time, you know, covering the basics of what custom post types and what post types are and why you would maybe want different post types or custom post types. And then we've also showed you a code example of how to create a very basic custom post type. In the next video, we're going to go back to this codex page and in all of these arguments, we are going to go through every single one on here so that you can get a complete overview of custom post types so again thanks for watching this video uh, i'll see you in the next video if you found this one um, useful you know please uh, like our like or share or subscribe to our channel you know share this on twitter facebook whatever social media um, channel you prefer uh, we'd appreciate any help uh, in that regard and again we'll see you in the next video thanks